What's going on guys? What we're going to talk about today is how to thrive and grow during a recession. This is something I know a lot about because the last recession made me rich. And we're going to talk about the things you need to know and the actions you need to take to come out of this recession squeaky clean with your money looking nice. We're going to talk about that. This episode of Hustlers Kung Fu was brought to you by HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com where we teach you how to start businesses, make money, manage money, and do many other wonderful things about getting your life together. Go to HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com to look around and see how we can help you. And their links are below to some of our specials. It was 2009. And I was exiting out of one business and I need to be really, really clear with what's going to happen and where you need to be. If you are a person that's full of energy and enthusiasm and hope and you are just a go-getter, you're going to need to start an online business. If you're a person who likes traditional conference and you have capital, you're going to need some money. This is going to be really hard to start without any money or any capital. You can start an online business with very little capital so you can be absolutely broke. I'm gonna tell you my story. I was leaving a physical business where the physical locations, we sold online, we sold offline, and I came on to chasing a dream. That's the thing that got me here. I tried to be a writer three times. The first time, I didn't know what I was doing. The second time, I knew what I was doing, but I didn't have the discipline. And the third time, after having a business where I was doing a lot of writing, that was the charm. But I was chasing a dream. I was chasing a higher purpose. If you're just trying to start a business because you want more time with your wife, you want to make a little extra money, more than likely, that's not going to propel you into where you need to be. So. Your desire has to be super strong. It has to be big for you to deal with all of the stuff that's going to come your way. So that was my case. I was chasing a dream to be a published writer. And my first book, incidentally, was supposed to be a relationship book. But I just, I was halfway through the project and I was like, I don't want to be a relationship book dude. So I came here to the internet and I started poking around. And one of the things you're going to have to do is a ton of research. Whatever you want to start a business in, you need to know it forward and backwards. Because if you're like coming into my live streams like, hey, what's good, man? What should I get into? You're not doing your research. That's the wrong question to be asking. You, you know, you got Google, you have other resources. Whatever you're interested in, you need to research it, figure out how many people are in that business, what does the marketplace look like, so on and so forth. So I was doing through that process and then I came across this blog post many, many years ago. And the dude was like, to make money online is simple. You create a $25, $25 product and sell it to 2,000 people. And I was like, hmm, that resonated with me because I had expertise selling stuff to people. So I was like, let's do that. And then also it was like, try out three different blogs. And this is where the principle of doing more comes into play. For you to come out clean on this recession, you're going to have to put in some work. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be some stuff where you could be doing the quote laptop lifestyle or uh, day trading for an hour a day. You're going to have to put in some work and it's going to be well worth it because I'm going to tell you what happened to me a little later in this video. I went ahead and I deployed my three blogs, Business Credit Mentor, PassionateFriday.com, and urbanpackrat.com, which incidentally, I didn't really give that a lot of thought because I mean, I could have came up with a better name, but that's what I went with. And I deployed all three vlogs. The guy said, what's going to happen is one of these blogs is going to outdistance the other ones. And this is what happened with Urban Pack Rat because I had content for days, had funny stories, and I started telling the stories on YouTube. And then I started sending YouTube traffic to the blog. And it just blew up. At my height, I was getting almost 300,000 visitors to my blog per month. I was making a lot of sales, but that's not where it really came to be. 
the secret ingredient was going with my gut instinct because after I was going to become a relationship book writer and I let that go, I was like, what's the next thing? And I, I just kept thinking about it because when I was in the storage auctions, I used to like, man, these folks who come out here have no clue. And I was like, that's the ticket. I write a book for people who want to get in storage auctions so they will be armed with knowledge so they can become a successful storage auction buyer and reseller. And that's what I wrote the book about. I put my foot in that book. If even today, if you want to get in the storage auction business, because they're still having storage auctions and a lot of the hoopla and stuff died down, it's a great tool because it's a business manual telling you how to buy units, things to look at, how to transport, how to move stuff, all types of things. That book ended up making me quite wealthy. Created this whole thing, because I, I have to say, because once again, when you're trace, chasing a dream, you, you just cannot be pussyfooting around. I remember when I wrote that book and I remember when I finished it and I sat around and I actually was using CreateSpace, which is an Amazon company and the CreateSpace sent me this galley and it was this little green book with this little crappy cover and everything. And I was just so happy. I literally spun around in my chair because I was over the moon happy because I had started and finished a book, which was my dream. And then I started selling it which was also part of my dream. One of the things that's gonna happen during this economy, because there are many people out here who are saying like, it's going to be a great opportunity for those who are prepared. It's true. If you're prepared, and I have to go ahead and say this, when I sat down and I wrote my first book, I had a lot of money in the bank. I wasn't just out here on the wing in the prayer. And also I didn't have any debt. This is the proximity that you need to put yourself into. To my average dudes out there, you're a regular dude, you've been working the job, you got laid off, you're coming on here looking for immediate quick solutions. I'm gonna be br brutally honest with you. I don't have any easy quick solutions because as I tell you this, literally I worked full time on this YouTube channel, the blog and writing the book for six months before I made a penny. And that's why I don't have any easy, quick solutions because if you're gonna build a business online, it's gonna take some time. You're not gonna get paid in the first month or the second month or the third month. And typically, it takes many people, you know, six months was really fast because I had business knowledge and I knew a little bit more than the average person coming online trying to make money. I knew I had to market. I knew that I had to create content. I knew that there were certain things I knew that I had to do and I went hard on them. And if you don't have any business experience, you don't know how to market, you don't know how to sell, that's going to hold you back a little bit. So you're looking at about a year to two years before your business takes off. I'm here to tell you the truth. You know, it's there. If this thing lasts two years, you've got the time to build it. But understand that creating an online business is vastly different than creating an offline business. Because offline, if you're selling a product or service, you can get money very quickly. But if you're building an online business, there's this thing about trust. I have people who are climbing off into my background. They're looking for stuff. They're looking about my companies. And this is what, if you start an online business, this is what's gonna happen to you. You're gonna have people who are literally gonna crawl through your background. They're gonna be looking for, I mean, this is funny. I had some guy who was interested in buying my storage auction book, and he actually found my Facebook page and contacted someone I went to high school with to inquire about me. Yeah, that happened. And my friend from high school was like, hey, this guy's reaching out to me and he's asking me all these questions about you. And at the time, the book was 1995. People get really invested in making sure that you're not going to get over on them or you're gonna somehow take their money and ride off into the sunset when you have an online business. So I'm just letting you know that the opportunity is gonna be there. There's gonna be new platforms. There's gonna be new opportunities. There's gonna be so many things available if you are prepared to take advantage of the opportunity. I came on YouTube 2009. There was no one in the resale space. It was like Dan Dotson from Storage Wars. He had a YouTube channel. There was literally about 30 people that I could isolate that were talking about resale on all of YouTube. And I was like, 
there's nobody doing this. It's just wide open. And I got in that space and I started to dominate. And this is one of the things that you will have to do. You're going to have to be prepared. You're going to have to work hard. Let, let's not dance around that. You're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to be focused because this is why I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and give you my theory of the average dude. Let's say you're, let's an, average say you're an average dude. dude. I, used I used to be, to be an, average an average dude. dude. I, used I used to be, to be a, regular a regular person, person before I got, before all, I got of all of this knowledge. knowledge. You don't know what you don't know. And typically the way that you were raised is going to have a great bearing upon your financial acumen. And like many of you, I, I grew up in a home with no wealth. I had no mentors. I had an uncle, James, who tried to school me on a few things, but it was such a disconnect. And I was just out here. And my thought process was, I get a job, if I need more money, I get a part-time job. If I need more money, I work overtime. And I was, you know, was overtime beast. Like, man, you know, I got my 40 hours by Wednesday. So Thursday and Friday gonna be nothing but overtime. I had to come out of that because as long as you remain an average dude, you're going to yield average results. You're going to have to become exceptional. and You're going to have to do more to change your life. Because once again, I know where you are. I feel you. I was there. I lived that life and becoming exceptional, becoming atypical and becoming different is what it's the difference between who I am today and who I used to be. Cause I don't have those notions anymore. Cause I, once again, you know, confession time, when I was an average dude, I made all types of dumb financial moves. I used a pawn shop. I did a title pawn loan. I used to rent to own from Acme rent to own. Just a whole bunch of dumb financial moves that now I know better I would never ever do again. That is the theory of the average dude. And you're going to have to step out of being average for you to take advantage of the opportunities that are going to come to you in this recession. You're going to have to be focused, determined, hardworking. You're going to have to be a different type of cat to get these deals because there will be deals. I in the process of getting a website built and well, I'm just shopping around and one of the people I shop around, they quoted me $3,200. And I was like, well, let me think about that. And then during this pandemic, they, they, they've offered me to do like two parts of the website for $450. Stuff is going to go on sale. Stuff is going to go on clearance. But if you don't have any money, you don't have any capital it's might as well not even be on sale. And this is one of the things that I try to do on this channel is to give you guys a warning. For two years before this thing happened, I've been screaming, jumping up and down, say it was coming, it was coming, and you need to get prepared. And right now it's here and it's too late to get prepared. I know that sounds a little bit harsh and that's not all rosy and what people want to hear because I understand, I, I get this every day that someone comes to this channel and they're looking for a quick, fast solution to their pain. Depending upon how acute they're hurt, where the pain is, there may be some better options, but usually you're looking at six months to two years for you to get out of that pain. And this is why I said in the good times to start preparing yourself to get out of debt, to get rid of that car note, to start stacking money, to put cash into an account, because I knew this was coming. And I'm here to tell you, I'm about to go hard because I realized like the last time during the recession, I knew it was a recession, but because it wasn't impacting me directly, I didn't really care. It wasn't bothering me. I didn't have any car payments. I didn't have any credit card debt. I had money in the bank. I was good. The recession actually missed me this time, you know, and I, I wasn't thinking this is a recession. This is, I, I didn't understand what I was doing. I didn't understand. This time, I know. A year from now, I'm gonna have a whole suite of new products, new training, because I already know what's gonna happen. Because re re even if unemployment gets to be 30%, which I feel that it will, I don't, that means 70% of the people will be employed, and 70% of the people will have money. And there's always a segment of the population that's going to be rich. 
good times, bad times, and they're gonna spend money because this is the abundance mindset. Typically, the people who are gonna be impacted and harmed the most by this, they weren't buying my products before. When I had, you know, my consultant business and I had those four fifty thousand dollars a month clients, that wasn't the average dude. I'm not even worried about that. I'm not even worried about that. My sales have dramatically gone up since this thing has started because there are people with money that see the value and they're gonna buy products and they're gonna start learning and they're gonna get this new knowledge and they're gonna start to make their lives better. Being the average dude is gonna be at put you at a disadvantage in this session because one of the things that I have learned, and this is something that's gonna help you, is if you're sloppy in your personal life, you're gonna be sloppy in your professional life. Like right now my house, even though I have a housekeeper that comes every two, it's not dirty. Uh, stuff's not unclean. Every place is nice and tidy and has order. My personal life is nice and tidy and has order. So my business life is the same. Because this is why, for, the, for the, you folks who are like sitting at home, Netflixing and chilling, playing video games, not skilling up, you're gonna become horrible employees when you do go back to work and you do find jobs because you're not focused. Because right now, another thing you should be doing, if you wanna come out of this recession clean with more money than you have now, every day you wake up, even if you don't have a job, like you're going to work and you're gonna be studying copywriting, you're gonna be studying sales books, you're gonna be taking online courses, you're gonna be skilling up because this is the time for you to level up. This is the time for you to make those moves. And it's not gonna happen with you sitting around playing games, hanging out with Big Booty Betty. You and Big Booty Betty, y'all ain't working, y'all having sex all day, fine, enjoy yourself. But you're gonna miss out on an amazing opportunity to level up like I'm talking about, essentially, if you are solid middle class, you could become a millionaire or get close to a millionaire during, the, during this downturn. One of the things that people don't understand is you must be productive and gainfully employed. This is the big issue that so many people are missing. Every, like I said, every day I get someone that comes to me or sends me an email and it's like, look, I'm an average person. I don't have a lot of money. I'm looking for this mystical, majestical, mythical moment or product that can take me from where I'm at to way over here. And I'm here to tell you, if I had such products, you would not be able to afford it because I wouldn't know the value of such a product and I would not sell it cheaply. And I get this every day because you're gonna have to do the work. You're gonna have to buckle down. You're gonna have to perform. I know that's a strange word, but average people after this recession are gonna be more average or they're gonna drop down a few levels. And the people who are not average are gonna level up. They're gonna make more money. They're gonna realize the opportunity. So you, as a person, has a choice right now. Remain average or start leveling up and changing your behaviors, because everything comes down to behavior. Like I said, my personal life is really clean and orderly, so is my professional. If your personal life is a dumpster fire, you need to clean that up because that's gonna bleed off into your business life and your professional life, and it's not gonna be pretty. This is just some of the stuff that you need to do to make it past this recession and come out on the other side much better than you went into it because this happened to me I can bear witness, I can testify, I can raise my hand, I can like clap and stomp and go hallelujah because in these times is so much opportunity for the people who want to get it, for the people who want to turn it on, for the people who want to put in the work because being lazy, you're not gonna get anywhere. And I know a lot of people want to do Forex and day trading. And very interesting thing about that, because I'm thinking about doing a little day trading. That still takes work. It still takes effort. The best day traders that I know a few day traders, they've all lost money in the beginning. And they've been doing it for years and years and years and years. There are no shortcuts to being successful. There are none. I know people are telling you that on the internet. But I'm here, if you're willing to do the work and prepare yourself, 
what can happen on the other side can be beyond beautiful.